during the time that you were the CEO, the stock market value of the company went up about 40, 450% and the market capitalization about 400% during that 15 year period of time. So my big regret is that I didn't back you and buy stock, but um, you must be very pleased with what you accomplished in the 15 years that you were the CEO. Yes, uh, I'm proud would probably be the right word to use. You know, I inherited a company that was renowned and um, had been quite successful, but also had gone through a, a period of uh, difficulty on a variety of levels. And there was a lot of work to do. To do. Um, and my sole goal was to not only improve the, the, the lot of the company, but to ultimately leave the company in great hands for my successor. But you weren't as successful in leaving the company because uh, you had wanted to leave a few years earlier and then the, they, the board said, no, you got to stay longer because you did the, uh, the Fox acquisition, among other things. So uh, why were you so good at running the company but not so good at leaving the company? I, you know, I'm told that that's a, a common ailment of CEOs uh, that have had decent tenure. Uh, and I, so I failed leaving a few times. Uh, the first time, uh, we had had a succession process that didn't work out as we had hoped. And so I agreed to stay on a little bit longer. And then the last time was solely due to the largest acquisition that we had ever made. And that was most of the assets of 21st Century Fox. And I knew when I proposed doing that to the board, uh, which was you know close to when I was supposed to step down, that they would say, well, we will uh, support you in this effort as long as you agreed to stay. They did not want, and for good reason, to go through a CEO transition just at the time we were making the biggest acquisition we'd ever made. 